humans are out here playing God again. Once upon a time it was only our merciful and mighty creator who held the blueprints to life itself, but now scientists with lab coats and bold agendas around the world are stitching together animals like they're some kind of animal Frankenstein. They're blending species that were never meant to meet, creating mashups so bizarre you'd think Mother Nature rage quit. It's like someone handed evolution a cheat code and said, go wild. These are the 15 hybrid animals created by scientists you won't believe exist in our world. Number 15. Spider Silk Goats Well, before you ask, yes, spider silk is real. And goats are now making it. This strange scientific mashup was created with a clear purpose, producing one of nature's strongest materials in usable amounts. See, spider silk is incredibly tough, stronger than steel by weight, but spiders themselves don't produce it in high volumes. So scientists stepped in and found a workaround. They took genes responsible for silk production from spiders and implanted them into goats. Not to make the goats spin webs, of course, but so the silk proteins would show up in their milk. That milk can then be filtered to extract the silk proteins and spun into threads. This bio silk can be used in everything from body armor to medical sutures. It sounds wild, but it actually works. By using goats, researchers sidestep the challenge of farming spiders, which are solitary and cannibalistic. Instead, they created an entire production line, fuzzy four-legged factories quietly making one of the toughest materials on earth, one bucket of milk at a time. But is it safe? Number 14. The Cheeto. At first glance, when you look at this cute thing, you might think someone named this hybrid after a snack, and honestly, they weren't far off. The Cheeto is a cross between the sleek Bengal cat and the Oshi cat, bred for one mission, a wild look with a domestic heart. Breeders weren't aiming for another common house cat, they wanted something that looked exotic enough to turn heads but was sweet enough to curl up in your lap. Carol Dryman, the mind behind the Cheeto, managed to strike that balance. These cats flaunt the bold spots and muscular build you'd expect from a jungle hunter, yet their temperament is far closer to a relaxed house pet. Unlike other exotic hybrids that can be unpredictable, the Cheeto stays impressively gentle, making it surprisingly family-friendly. While you won't mistake them for your typical tabby, their behavior doesn't match their wild appearance. They're proof that with the right mix, you really can get the best of both worlds, no claws and long teeth necessary. Number 13. Super Ball Python. When it comes to designer pets, snakes aren't usually top of the list, but the Super Ball Python is proof that someone, somewhere, wanted to change that. These pythons are the result of intense selective breeding within the species. Breeders mix different types of ball pythons to create bold, unique color patterns. The results? Well, visually striking snakes that look like living pieces of art. But there's a downside to this kind of genetic experimentation. While some of these snakes thrive, others face serious developmental issues. Breeding for looks doesn't always come without risk. Many early attempts to create these hybrids struggled with survival, some even failing to hatch at all. Even so, the Super Ball Python does have some upsides. They tend to reach maturity faster, reproduce more often, and adapt to wider diets. But as with any man-made species, it raises ethical questions. Just because you can mix genes to make a flashier snake, should you? Now that's a question snake breeders still grapple with. Number 12. Donkra. China's wildlife parks gave us one of the strangest hybrid surprises. The Donkra, born from the unlikely pairing of a male donkey and a female zebra, this oddball mix was more of an accident than a plan. Still, once it happened, no one could look away. Physically, the Donkra is unmistakable. Zebra stripes sprawl across its body but fade into the more muted colors of a donkey. It's like a black and white photo slowly turning into a color image. While the novelty factor is high, the reality is trickier. Early Donkra births faced complications, and even the surviving ones tend to have health challenges. Breeding species with such different genetic codes rarely ends cleanly. 
This hybrid doesn't serve some big agricultural purpose or fill a missing link in evolution. It exists because biology is weird and occasionally stubborn enough to make the impossible happen. Whether they're anomalies or future curiosities, Donkras reminds us how strange and stubborn life can be when it decides to color outside the lines in China. Number 11. The Mule. It's easy to overlook the mule, mainly because it's been around for thousands of years. But this hybrid born from a male donkey and a female horse is still one of the most effective animal combinations ever made. It doesn't just look the part, it works like it too. Mules are known for their endurance and strength. They can haul massive loads across rough terrain for hours without tiring. That made them invaluable in ancient trade routes, military logistics and farming. Long before trucks or tractors, there was the mule. What makes this hybrid so reliable is its mix of muscle from the horse and sure-footedness from the donkey. It's also more resistant to disease and less temperamental than either parent. Mules are usually sterile, which keeps their population controlled, but even that didn't stop ancient civilizations from breeding them in large numbers. They may not be flashy, but they're proof that not all hybrids are strange accidents. Some are just quietly brilliant tools of survival. And unlike Made Made Wally Mouse, it's much better. Number 10. Zebroids. Zebroids are what happens when zebras get mixed up with the rest of the animal kingdom. The term doesn't refer to just one creature, it's an umbrella label for any hybrid involving a zebra and another equine species. The most famous is the Zorse, which comes from a male zebra and a female horse. You get a creature with zebra stripes, horse muscles, and a very confused identity. These hybrids tend to be sterile, like most cross-species offspring, but that hasn't stopped humans from trying to make them. Why? Part curiosity, part practicality. Zebras carry natural resistance to certain diseases and environmental stressors. Combine that with the strength and temperament of a horse, and you've got an animal that's not just striking, but surprisingly hardy. Still, looking at a zebroid feels like watching nature glitch. The mix is obvious, too obvious. It works in a technical sense, but visually, it messes with your brain. Beautiful, strange, and a little bit off, zebroids are what happens when humans just have to see what two mismatched animals can become. All right guys, now, let's talk about something weird. Number 9. Pizzly Bear. Some hybrids aren't made in labs, they happen when nature starts running out of room. The Pizzly Bear a cross between a polar bear and a grizzly bear, is one of those unintentional creations. With melting ice pushing polar bears south and warmer temps nudging grizzlies north, they've started overlapping and occasionally mating. What comes out of that mix is an animal that's built for change. Pidzlies are more adaptable to warmer climates than polar bears, but retain enough cold weather traits to handle shifting environments. They're sturdier than either parent alone and that's no coincidence. Unlike many hybrids, this one might have real survival value. Climate change isn't just affecting habitats, it's rewriting who can survive in them. Whether this new bear becomes a lasting species is anyone's guess, but for now it's an eerie sign that evolution isn't waiting for permission. It's moving forward, with or without us, blending the wild in unexpected ways. What do you think about this bear? Well let us know. Number 8. Holfin. When dolphins and whales cross paths in the open ocean, you don't exactly expect romance. But nature has its own sense of humor, and the result of that unlikely pairing is the holfin, a rare hybrid between a bottlenose dolphin and a false killer whale. At first, holfins look like oversized dolphins with darker coloring and slightly broader bodies. They're fast, social, and incredibly intelligent, inheriting sharp traits from both sides of their family tree. What's even more surprising is that holfins can survive and thrive, at least in captivity. There are only a few confirmed individuals, mostly living in places like Sea Life Park in Hawaii. In the wild, spotting one is almost mythical. Some sailors and researchers claim they've seen them, but no hard proof has surfaced yet. 
Unlike many hybrids that struggle with fertility or health, Holfins seem relatively stable. They're living proof that even species that seem worlds apart sometimes find a way to connect, and when they do, the result can be something both unexpected and oddly beautiful. Number 7. The Jaglion. When a jaguar and a lion decide they're better together, the outcome is nothing short of surreal. Jaglions are the rare offspring of these two big cats, and if you're wondering why you don't hear much about them, it's because barely any exist. Most of the time lions and jaguars wouldn't even meet, much less mate. But in captivity, where fences don't care about continents bonds sometimes form. That's exactly what happened when a male jaguar and a female lion grew up side by side and eventually bred. Jaglions inherit the best and strangest features from both sides. Their coats often carry faint rosette patterns under a golden hue, a visual blend of jungle camouflage and savanna royalty. Yet, despite how striking they look, they're not part of any breeding programs, and for good reason. These hybrids are rare, not because they can't exist, but because ethically it's questionable to even try. Nature never intended for them to mix, but once in a while, chance overrules intention, and in our world, everything can be possible. Number 6. The Geep. In most cases, goats and sheep stick to their own lanes. But every so often, nature skips the rulebook. That's how the Geep happened, part goat, part sheep, and entirely unplanned. One Irish farmer discovered it the hard way when his goat managed to mate with a ewe, producing an offspring that surprised even seasoned breeders. This hybrid didn't just survive, it outpaced its peers. Born alongside other lambs, the geep ran faster, moved more confidently, and carried a quirky blend of features from both parents. Its build leaned more toward goat, but the wool was unmistakably sheep. Most hybrids between species like this don't make it past birth or die off young. That's why this particular case drew attention. It wasn't just rare, it was thriving. Scientists didn't create this one. No genetic tweaks, no test tubes, just a one in a million mix, proving that sometimes nature does its own weird experiments. And when it works, it really makes people look twice. Well, just imagine how many hybrids got vanished made by nature. Number 5. The Liger. Well, no list of animal hybrids can be made without it. The Liger isn't just internet meme stuff, it's very real and it's enormous. This hybrid is born when a male lion mates with a female tiger. The result? A massive feline that's larger than both parents, often stretching over 12 feet long and weighing more than 900 pounds. Despite their size, ligers can still sprint up to 35 miles per hour. Try wrapping your head around that. Unlike most hybrids, ligers aren't completely infertile. Some females have produced offspring, though it's rare, and they're not just biological experiments. Many are born in captivity, often because humans intentionally put lions and tigers together out of curiosity or spectacle. You're not going to run into one on a safari anytime soon. The most famous liger is Hercules, housed in Myrtle Beach Safari. He holds the Guinness World Record for the largest living cat. While many debate the ethics of breeding animals like this, there's no denying how jaw-droppingly massive and oddly majestic the liger really is. Number 4. Kai Wolf. Now this is just super insane. Long before humans could take credit for hybrid animals, nature handled it herself. Meet the one and only, Kai Wolf, a blend between coyotes and wolves that's spreading across parts of North America. It wasn't cooked up in a lab, and no breeders were involved. These two canines simply crossed paths, and evolution decided to roll the dice. What makes the Kai Wolf stand out is its combination of traits. It's got the pack-hunting instincts and muscle of a wolf, but carries the fearless urban survivor attitude of a coyote. They adapt fast, they're smart, 
and they don't scare easily, especially not around human towns. This isn't just a curious mix, it's a whole new kind of predator slowly reshaping the ecosystem. With shrinking forests and expanding cities, Kai wolves seem to be thriving exactly where both their ancestors struggled. It's evolution happening in real time, and the result is something stronger, bolder, and way harder to predict than either parent ever was. Does this wild hybrid touch your heart? Number 3. Beefalo. Crossbreeding between cattle and bison isn't new, but the beefalo is the commercial endgame. Developed by pairing a domestic bull with an American bison cow, the result is an animal designed from the ground up for one reason, better meat. Farmers wanted something that could give the richness of bison with the calm temperament of regular cattle, and beefalo, it delivered. They're leaner than standard cows but still easy to handle. What's more, unlike many hybrids, beefalo are fertile. That means they can breed naturally, which makes scaling up the population much easier. But not everyone is cheering. Critics point out the ethics this hybrid exists purely to end up on someone's plate. It's a commercial success, no doubt, but it walks a fine line. Creating animals to be more profitable at the cost of natural biodiversity is wrong, especially when the end goal is meat. Still, the beefalo is here, thriving on ranches quietly symbolizing how far humans will go to customize nature in the name of efficiency and profit. Number 2. Pomsky Dog. Scrolling through Instagram, you've probably stumbled across a Pomsky without even realizing it, these ridiculously photogenic dogs are the love child of the Siberian Husky and the Pomeranian, two breeds that couldn't be more different if they tried. The goal behind creating Pomskis was pretty straightforward. Capture the wolfish charm of a Husky but package it into a smaller, more manageable size. Sometimes it works perfectly, other times you get a dog that's way larger and sassier than you bargained for. One of the quirks with Pomskis is that no two really look alike. Some inherit the thick coats and piercing eyes of Huskies, while others end up fluffy and tiny like Pomeranians. Size, temperament, coat patterns, it's all a genetic gamble. While their unpredictable nature adds to the charm, it also makes them a challenge for first-time dog owners. They're high energy, clever, and not exactly maintenance-free. Cute, yes. Easy, well, not always. A Pomsky might steal your heart, but it'll run you in circles while doing it. Number 1. Belgian Blue. The Belgian Blue isn't your average cow, it looks like it hit the gym and never left. This breed was developed through extremely selective crossbreeding during the 19th century, when certain bulls were brought from the UK to Belgium to boost cattle stock. Over time, after generations of careful breeding, they produced a type of cattle that practically redefined muscular. These animals are so thick and bulked that they're often referred to as double-muscled. And yes, that's a real term. The secret behind this beefy build lies in a specific genetic mutation. Belgian blues carry a gene that suppresses the protein myostatin which normally limits muscle growth. Without that natural limiter their bodies just keep building muscle. The result? Cattle that are massive, lean, and highly prized in the meat industry. While it might seem extreme compared to other animal enhancements in agriculture, this one almost feels tame. And despite how unnatural it might appear, it's all from a gene tweak that happened the old-fashioned way, through breeding. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content like this. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you soon in the next one.